Exodyne electric motorcycle. A veterinary superhero by day and engineering extraordinaire by night, when Dr. Alan Cross isn't performing orthopedic surgery helping animals, he's in his garage at home in Atlanta designing and engineering his next creation. Pictured here is what he calls the Exodyne. This is what you get when you cross a motivated doctor with an engineering degree and a passion for motorsports. And that's not to mention the metalworking and fabrication skills he's learned on his own. The Exodyne is just one example of Dr. Cross' long list of accomplishments. He has a passion for restoring vehicles and even built a race spec Mazda RX-8 that he competes in on weekends. It took nine months of research, design, and fabrication to complete the Exodyne. Cross did all the work himself with the exception of the seat upholstery and powder coating. When I asked him what his inspiration was to build such a thing he replied, Inspiration. Nothing significant. I find I always need to have a project of some sort. I'm happiest when I'm creating something. His initial plan was to build an electric, adult-sized green machine he enjoyed in his youth, but as the planning phase progressed, he realized that for what he was spending it would make more sense to build something street legal. I had a general idea in my head of what I was building and it evolved from there, he explained. People ask me for the CAD files, there were none. The front suspension is from a 2005 Suzuki RMZ250, and the neck and rear swing arm are from a 1995 Suzuki RM125, eBay and Craigslist finds, respectively. But the rest of the frame is designed and hand-built by Dr. Cross and has a Ducati-esque inspired skeletal structure to it. An Olin's rear shock handles the extra unsprung weight of the in-hub motor. The wheels are from Warp 9 and feature a Brembo brake setup in front and a Suzuki setup out back that bring the 248-pound bike to a halt. Dr. Cross explains that weight savings were paramount to the build and that titanium hardware from Provolt, as well as carbon fiber, was used wherever possible.